Hey guys, welcome to Game Night. Tonight we're playing Crisis 2, and I'm here with... Scooter. Jose. Just Scooter. Yeah, and that's Jose. fine. Jose, you did uh, the review event? Yeah, I'll be... Uh, I'm at, I was at the review event, and my review will be going up of the game next week. Oh, yep. nice. And Scooter, you're here just because you love yeah. games. So we're going to be yeah. playing a mission early in the campaign called Sudden Impact, and let's just get into it, and we'll show a bit of like, the cutscene of... Kind of sets it up, and Jose and I will talk more about what the heck is going on. Yeah. Because this is basically like mission three, I believe. We're going to play. I'll play on Soldier. Soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll take it easy. Uh, anyways, as always, you can ask us questions on the Game Night 1Up Twitter account, our message board thread that we made for Game Night, uh, our news story on 1Up, and the Ustream chat. But yeah, let's watch this. So, well, this, so basically, I guess New York is under attack and people are getting infected. Is that the basic deal? The things that we can say is there's a virus. Uh, you're wearing a nano suit. You are not profit. You are Alcatraz. But people call you profit. They are mistaking you for They're profit, assuming from, the profit from the previous yeah. game. Exactly. Yeah, and you are kind of fighting through trying to locate uh, a gentleman by the name of Gould. In Manhattan. Oh. Oh. Yeah. In Manhattan, yeah. And there's the guys after you are a cell, which is basically, I guess, like a private company of just got soldiers running around shooting at you. Yeah, yeah, private military, and they their mission is to find you. So the mercenaries. Yeah. yeah. Holy crap. Oh, helicopter's trying to shoot down aliens. I so think you're this, into is all, this looks <clears throat> all in engine. Yeah, and you're walking into kind of an I Am Legend kind of desolate New York. I mean, you're not really <laughs> seeing like survivors. You're 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 kind of alone, but at the mm -hmm. same time, you are running across these soldiers who are hunting you and looking for you. And at the same time, there is this alien invasion backdrop going on, and you see really cool wow, stuff yeah. like that. Does does this look like a street you've been down? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm from the Bronx, but I spent a lot of time uh, in Manhattan going back and forth, so a lot of the areas look really familiar. Some, I mean, definitely they're Manhattan locations. Others, you just get that familiar sense of, wow, this I've been in this neighborhood before. Could you walk to your house in the game? I didn't live in Manhattan. I, uh, they don't go to the Bronx. I wish they did, yeah. but they don't. Uh, it'd be great, but yeah. Bronx gets no love in video games, but I don't <laughs> want to get into that. <laughs> Sublime 90 says that this game looks awesome. Yeah, it, it really, it's really impressive even, how, how good it looks. And like given it looks that, pretty damn good on a console already. Yep, so if you have yeah. a power machine, just pretend this is at a crazier resolution. Well, yeah, because everyone's used to hearing the word crisis and saying, oh, you need some insane PC setup. So to know what's happening on console was kind of a surprise for a lot of people, I guess. Okay. Let me know whenever you want to just try playing around, just messing around. I'm going to, like, kick the car. Oh, oh yeah, right. I oh. guess trying to kick the well, oh, I, I think they want you to go up. cloak. If the, uh, yeah, they might yeah. want you to go cloak, so do that. So your armor abilities are kind of... Uh, everything's been simplified. Uh, if you've been playing the multiplayer demo, you know that uh, you can cloak and you can uh, also go to maximum armor. They're located on the top uh, bumper buttons on the Xbox 360. They a lot faster, too. Yeah. Stuff, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. and if you sprint, uh, that's... So they took away sort of that menu that was on the PC version. The wheel. Where you, you, yeah, the, the wheel that lets you switch between the armor abilities and this one, everything's sort of contextual. And the minute you sprint, you're immediately in speed mode. Stealth, you have to activate. Armor, you have to activate. Strength is automatic. I mean, think about it. If you I have think a it's super yeah. suit. Yeah. I guess it's on when you're not armored or stealth up or something. If you, maybe. Uh, the, Oh yeah, and if you look at the bottom guy. right, the energy meter is a really important thing to keep an eye on because once that thing at, like bottoms out, you're out of energy, you're exposed, and yeah. you know you're in a lot of trouble so at that turn moment. It off. And the more people that notice you, the more come. So and that also causes a problem. I'm just going to do a power kick. Go for it. <laughs> nope. You could have no, kicked those guys earlier. Yeah, this is why I'm going to hide behind some boxes. 
thing you want me to? Uh, oh, you yeah. want to? Yeah, I'll one? jump okay. on, sure. So, uh, pressing back, I can mess around with upgrading my suit, and I upgrade my suit by getting certain points that comes from the, the alien, uh, by taking out aliens Which in the game. we'll get to when we reach the later part of this mm -hmm. mission, because cool. that gets the juice in. You can show them off maybe customizing your gun a little bit. Oh yeah, so uh, same same button on back. If you hold it instead of tap it, you'll bring up the gun and sort of customize that. Yeah. Um, and that was uh, that was a feature that was in the first one, right? Yeah. The, the armor uh, customization. Customizing your it. your suit was new, but adding attachments to your gun is is pretty much like the last one. Yes, yeah, so I could put a reflex sight on. I could put a laser sight on. I can have a silencer, no silencer. Um, and there are other options that are locked, but they are very cool when you get to them. Uh, another thing uh, with the abilities on the suit, like I can sprint, and then if I tap uh, B, which is the button just to uh, crouch. kneel, yeah, crouch, crouch I can slide. like slide under stuff. If yeah. I slide into a guy, I can knock him over, yeah. that kind of stuff. Actually, let me, let me confirm something. The red meter on the lower left, is that like sound you're making, or is that uh, health? Or? That's alert level, like okay. how alert they are to so uh, your they presence. Know, they know you're around because that thing's in the red. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they know. You kicked the car, so I think you kind of <laughs> clued them in that we're here. Uh, Gabriel 3 <laughs> okay. uh, asked, um, you know, like, how important is it for him to play Crisis 1 because he wants to know if it's necessary uh, um, to keep up with what's going on here. It doesn't seem necessary because actually Jose didn't play. Yeah, I did not one. play the first Crisis. Um, it's, uh, the, I mean, it involves certain characters from the original game, for example, Prophet. Uh, and these, possibly these aliens, I believe they're also from the first game, mm -hmm. but uh, they reference them, they refer to them in cutscenes. It didn't feel super important that I had to know about it because the story does go into its own direction. Yeah. And it, I mean, there's some allusion to like things that happened in the first game, but oh, grenade, oh, get away from that. But nothing like. Oh. We're just getting a bunch of comments, not much questions. Uh. Yeah. People on, just bring questions. Yeah, that's no, funny. Yeah. When I when I did the, when I did this, in this scenario for practice earlier, uh, and I actually like stealth and like walked up people and just slapped them. Instead, well, you used a barrel. <laughs> I just went up and I, like slapped those two guys. Yeah, I, I did that a lot at the review event where I was kind of stealthily getting behind things and and using the cover to kind of peek out and make decisions and then stealthily take out each one, but. You know, now I actually yeah. want to just run around. So it looks like it seems like if you're kind of near something like a like cover like a wall or something, you, if you do the aim, you automatically kind of do a lean mode. It looks like yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. So if you're at the corner, yeah, it'll say okay, hold left trigger to lean out. And then you'll lean out, and as long as you keep the left trigger held down, you'll be leaning yeah. out. As soon as you let it go, he comes yeah. back. Uh, that really helps a lot too if you're in stealth. Oh, went the wrong way. Um, I like to do that a lot, so I can like just casually kind of check things yeah. out. Yeah, or snipe exactly. Uh, oh snap, it's Eiffel, says everything about this game is better than Black Ops and Evil. <laughs> <laughs> the local EA rep liked hearing that. Uh, dude L just, dude L says, car kicking, I'm sold. <laughs> so here's more of the customization stuff. This is the part in the game where they're kind of introducing you to the idea. Yeah, because I think there's a assault rifle with a silencer like right near you or something. Yeah, but yeah I just dropped the rifle, yeah. but I still have my pistol, so I'm yeah. actually going to switch and carry two rifles. Oh, here's start. where you could oh, no, talk I, about I the, yeah. the tactical thing that comes up in a bit when you're looking at the ground. Because like, I was messing around, but since you actually played the whole thing, you can tell me more what the hell's going on. Oh, yeah, sure. The uh, so quick resupply, and then if I hold up, I can bring up my visor, and that'll basically... Uh, enter into sort of a tactical tactical assessment mode where you kind of can survey the area and just kind of see okay what, what are my options here so I can hold the L trigger while this visor's up and I can see okay what's over there exactly ascend uh, they'll give you like little instructions for places you can go so for example there's a guy there I could ascend and get on top of that building uh, there's another spot over here. They want me to explore that area, possibly stuff over there. Sometimes they'll say like stealthily get to this point, um, or there'll be like armor uh, replenishment spots that they'll show on the tech visor. So you'll know, okay, there's a lot of guys, but if I can just like stealthily get around, I can get a lot of stuff. Now I keep kind of alerting them that I'm here. So if you notice that uh, meter you were pointing out, it's filled up. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get out of this tech mode. 